macOS Sonoma is Apple's latest update for MacBooks and in this video you are going to see some of the best new features of macOS Sonoma. Before we begin, if you want to receive more tech related videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. To start using the new features of macOS Sonoma, firstly you need to update your system software. Click on the Apple icon in the upper left corner of your screen, then choose system settings. From this list here select general, then select software update. And on this page, you will find your latest available updates. Here on the top bar, you can enable automatic updates. With this first option turned on, your Mac will periodically check for updates in the background. And on this page, you should see your upcoming upgrades. So currently we see here macOS Sonoma. Click on this button to upgrade your system. Enter your password and macOS Sonoma will start downloading. After the installation is complete, we will be back. Once your update is finished, you will see that one of the new features of macOS Sonoma is the new lock screen. When we take a look at the top of the screen, we see that time and date look more different than before and down at the bottom, we have our username and password input. Before it was in the center of the screen. We also see that we now have a dynamic background. It keeps moving even when you are on the desktop, creating a seamless experience and after we log in, we see that it still continues moving for a while and then later it will stop, which creates a more dynamic experience between the screen and the wallpaper. Another new feature of macOS Sonoma is the new wallpapers. To see that, from the Apple icon, go to settings, scroll down a bit and select wallpapers. On this page, we can see that after updating to macOS Sonoma, a lot of new wallpapers added for usage. And if you don't see these wallpapers on your system, then firstly you need to download them by simply by clicking on the wallpaper. And as you see here on this bar, now it starts downloading. Here on the top side, we have dynamic wallpapers. If you use one of these wallpapers here in the dynamic wallpapers section, then you can switch between light and dark mode simply by clicking on this drop down menu here. If you click on this drop down here, you can easily switch between the light and the dark mode or you can leave it as automatic if you prefer. If you scroll down a bit, here you will find other dynamic wallpapers such as the shuffle aerials for example. If you choose one of these one here, it will give you an option to shuffle between wallpapers and here you can select the time range. If you want to change this for example every 12 hours or every day, you can set the time range here and let's say after every 12 hours you will get a new, a different wallpaper. If you choose for example continuously, then you will get continuously different wallpapers. Another option you see here, if you prefer, you can add your own photos from this button here, if you want to use your own photos as wallpapers. And you can also use the same wallpapers as a screensaver. If you turn this one on, then your wallpapers will also be shown as a screensaver. Widgets also get some changes with the new update. Before, widgets could only be found inside the notification center, but now you can add them to your desktop simply by dragging the widgets to your desktop. And if you can't use this feature, then you need to activate it from your settings. Go to desktop and dock, and here on this page, scroll down until you see the widgets section. The show widgets option needs to be selected on your desktop so you can see them on your desktop or also in stage manager. You can style your widgets also from this drop down list. You can either make them all colorful or you can leave them as all monochrome like black and white like this or you can leave them as automatic. So when you are on another app like currently we are on the system settings, we see them as black and white but when you go back to your desktop then they will become colorful again. If you click with your right mouse button on your desktop, you can edit the widgets and here on the left side you can find the list of all widgets. You can use for example a widget like this Instagram widget for example of your iPhone even if it is not installed on your Mac. So the Instagram widget is not installed on my computer but I can access because it is available on my iPhone. If you right click on the widget you can edit its size by selecting either small, medium or large. You can remove the widget. You can add it back simply from this list. And if you choose this option, then we'll go back to this list here where we can find all of the 
widgets with also additional editing options. With macOS Sonoma, if your desktop is messy, for example, you can also easily hide or show the widgets and the apps with a single click. To do that, first you need to go to settings, scroll down and go to desktop and dock. And here you will see the section of desktop and stage manager, which gives you the option to show and hide items simply with a checkbox. By default, the checkbox here should be selected. But if you unselect the checkbox, let's say for desktop, you see that the apps will be easily disappeared. And if you want to hide the widgets as well, then scroll down. And this time you need to unselect the show widgets option for desktop. And this time the widgets will be disappeared. Another new feature we have is the click wallpaper to reveal desktop. This feature gives you the option to show and hide the apps on your desktop or on the stage manager to access all of your desktop items and widgets with a single click. If you choose the always option and if you click once in your desktop, you see that the window will easily goes hidden and comes back with a single click. But if you don't want to have this for your desktop, then you can change it to the only stage manager mode. And now if I click back on the desktop, we see that the window will stay. If you are playing games on your MacBook with the latest update of macOS Sonoma, you will get a gaming mode, which basically changes the performance settings of your MacBook. When you are on playing a game on a full screen mode, for example, on the top right corner, you will get a notification telling the game mode is on, which prioritizes the CPU and GPU to this game over other tasks and applications, so you will get a better performance of your MacBook while playing a game. The weather application also gets a small new feature with macOS Sonoma. Now, when you are on the weather app, you will be able to see the wind map as well. Click on this map here and then go to this little icon, click on that. Now we will also be able to see the wind map if you select this one, with some nice animation included. There are also some little changes on the cursor and keyboard. If you are on an app, let's say the notes app, the indicator, as you can see, takes the color of that app. For example, since the note app has the yellow color, the indicator is now also yellow. If you turn the caps mode on, you will see this arrow telling you are on the caps lock mode. So if you type some, something, you will see that all of the letters are on the capital mode. We also have now prediction on text, which tries to predict the full word while you are typing. And if you tap on the spacebar, then it completes the word automatically. However, if you want to enable or disable some of these features, you can go to settings, scroll down to keyboard, select input sources, edit, and here you will find additional settings that you can enable or disable for your keyboard. Another new feature comes with macOS Sonoma is using websites as web applications. Basically, you can use any website as an application. So when you are on Safari, let's say that there is a website that you frequently visit. Let's select YouTube, for example. On Safari, from file settings, if you select add to dock, it will give you an option to name the app and the link of the website. Here it also shows the logo of the website. Now if you click on add, then you will see this icon directly on your dock. Let's get out of Safari. And now if you click on this icon, it will take you directly to the YouTube app. So these new web apps, which basically works as a link, will take you to the website, which makes it easier to access without necessarily every time going to Safari first and then visiting your most favorite, your most used apps each time over the Safari app. So these are some of the new features that comes with macOS Sonoma. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you do, please hit the like button and see you guys in the next video.